The solo is a learning taxonomy basically. It is a way to help your students plan and, and organise their answers using five main descriptors. Starting with um, pre-structural, which is where your students basically have no idea where to start with an answer. Above that you've got unistructural, which is where they can basically describe one or two things about a concept. For example, if they're describing canines, they might get the idea that that's a type of tooth, but that's all they know. Then you go up to multistructural, where they know quite a few ideas about them, but possibly not how they're linked. Just they can list a whole lot of things. Um, above that you've got relational and relational is when you're starting to sort of get that higher level of learning and understanding of a concept you're starting to see students linking ideas they're starting to say why something happens um, nearly at the point where they could make predictions if you're looking at a, a subject like science and then above that the, the sort of highest level of thinking as it were in this taxonomy is extended abstract and in extended abstract, a student is able to infer, predict, generalise, basically able to form an argument based on the information that they know and have found out or been told. Since I arrived in 2010 at St Andrews College, there's been a school-wide phasing in of solo. The school-wide approach has made it really easy to introduce into my science classes and has had a, a definite effect on the teaching and learning in my classroom. Using solo as a common strategy in all subject areas has made it both easier to implement and it's been easier for students to use. It makes it easier to guide them with how to use the maps to complete tasks, uh, leading to more answers being at a, at a high level. Over the course of a single year, the improvement in the quality of extended written answers and the creation of content like student presentations and PowerPoints has just been outstanding. Additionally, with Solo being phased in from 2010, we're now seeing many more of our students accessing merit and excellence in, in my Level 1 science classes. Their answers are better planned, they have more organised structure, and they're able to really answer the, the question with a bit more of an opinion. Solo's complemented my teaching by helping with the transition between tasks and with goal setting within lessons, both for students and, and for me. The use of consistent language like describe, compare and contrast, generalise, infer has helped my students become more independent um, and they're now at that level where they can choose the appropriate maps for planning their answers. It also helps students to clearly see what level of thinking is required to complete a particular task. If I describe a task as being a described task, they know there's not a lot of depth of knowledge required to actually achieve it. However, solo does not make students better writers and thinkers on their own. It needs to be coupled with work on basic literacy skills, particularly writing clear, concise paragraphs and, and other taxonomies and so on for that. Solo has become an integral part of my teaching, complementing and supporting what I hope to achieve with my students over the course of a year in science.